Hi, this is John with Performance Plus Tennis. Welcome to today's video. And today's lesson is going to be about the serve motion and really how you develop a professional quality serve motion. And I've had my YouTube channel now for about five years. And one of the early videos that I put out was really addressing whether there's wrist snap on the serve or pronation. And I really clarified in that video what the true motion is that you see all the pros are using on their serves. And in that video, I introduced a product called the No Wrist Snap Wrap, which was a product that I, I had semi-invented. It was a, some of the, the parts and pieces were off the shelf that I bought and then I made some modifications. And the whole idea behind this product was to present and reveal how the wrist doesn't have a whole lot of movement on the serve. It does have some movement, but it's not a snapping movement. And the product was great because it really restricted the movement of the wrist and it activated the movements that you really want to get to have a professional quality motion on your serve. My original intention was to manufacture this and, and make it available for, for people who wanted to buy it. But it was very complicated and expensive and costly and it just didn't pan out for me. But over the years, I continue to get inquiries all the time, even from the video that's very, very early on on the channel. Is that product available? How do I get it? So in today's video, we're not only gonna go through developing a professional quality serve motion, but we're also gonna talk about this product and give you uh, access to this product. So if you wanna get it, you can, you can finally get this product and really work on your serve motion and develop it into a professional quality movement. A couple of the key elements of a professional quality motion are, of course, a continental grip, and, and really having a motion that is, is founded in, in pronation or what we call long axis rotation in the swing. And you have to have long axis rotation or pronation to complement the grip. Otherwise, you won't be able to control the ball or create the spin you're looking to create. So you want to make sure that we have a continental grip, which is where your arm is really, your hand is right on top and you create a straight, straight line from the shoulder to the tip of the racket. That's generally what a continental grip is. We get into greater detail of that in some of the other videos here on the channel. On our playlist, check out our serve playlist for a lot of detail on that. But I've got a continental grip, and I'm going to go into my motion. And what happens to a lot of players at the recreational level is we go into the waiter's tray position. And the waiter's tray position is a combination of changing the grip to a forehand, but also laying the palm to the sky. And that really causes the shoulder to rotate outwards in a way, and now you're in a position where you have no leverage, and you really can't use the active movement that we're looking for in the shoulder. So with this product, I keep the palm down and I really can't bend my wrist, wrist back. I can't really float this back like this. I'm not gonna do that, it's too awkward. So it really helps uh, create the right movement. And then when I'm coming into contact, I'm not gonna be snapping my wrist, but I'm, it's gonna really activate that shoulder rotation that we're looking to get that all high performance servers have. And that is a magical movement inside the motion that creates easy power because it allows the racket head to move much faster than your arm can travel. So this product kind of locks you in a little bit and then really activates the movement you're really, really looking for. And that's that long axis rotation or what's commonly called pronation on the serve. And you know, this, this product and, and this use of the product really resolves and, and clarifies the role of the wrist on the serve. And the, the role of the wrist on the serve is not a forward snapping movement at all. So when we hear this common phrase, oh, he had great wrist snap or she had great wrist snap, they're not saying what they're seeing or they're not seeing what's really happening. The movement of the wrist is really primarily what we call ulnar deviation. And that means that the racket is, the wrist is extending upward. And this item allows that movement to happen. If you didn't have ulnar deviation in your swing and you just extended, the racket would never get to contact. So here's what the movement would look like without any ulnar deviation but the racket has to get up and over. So what happens is the racket's going up and the older deviation is moving in the, happening in the wrist. Once it gets near the top, the shoulder just takes it through and it's gone. And that acceleration is magical because it happens very, very quickly without a lot of arm motion. And you'll see frequently at the professional level, you'll see servers that their, their hand is actually lower than the elbow at this point in time. And if we could slow most of the players down, they get into a similar position like this, all the way from the early days of Pancho Gonzalez, Jack Kramer, all the way through Boris Becker, Pete Sampras. We see it today with Milos Ranic, um, Taylor uh, Fritz, Federer, all of them. They're really getting that racket to accelerate out and through. Djokovic looks like this. They're all like that in their own style. 
And the great news is if you, if you have this item on, it really does sort of pigeonhole you into getting the movement right. So you really can't try to play with your wrist. So this is a very useful tool along with the information you're getting to develop what we see a professional quality tennis player use on their surf. So the beautiful thing about this, this product is that it does not allow you to get into positions that are ill-advised to create a professional quality serve. It, again, it kind of locks you in at the wrist level and really forces you to activate the movement through the shoulders. So it really is a neat product to work with, to serve with, because you really can get that racket head through and that action all the way through the shoulder that you're seeking. Because if I don't use the shoulder rotation, I'm never going to get that action. And it's forcing me to get that, that nice internal rotation outward and that pronation, long axis rotation through the shoulder that you're seeking to develop a professional quality serve. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And I hope that this lesson will help you and this product will help you on your journey to developing a professional quality service motion. And if you'd like to get this product, you may just click in the description down below in the link and buy this product directly from Amazon. Please like, comment, subscribe to our channel and leave your comments down below so we can help you on your journey to building a professional quality serve. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next lesson.